I'm gonna share with you why video games have taught me more about business and making money than college or any college degree has. So let's get into it. So this was my little article. This kind of keeps me on track of what I wanna talk about. There is a link in the description for this full article, but I've been a World of Warcraft addict for quite a while now. Uh, I was always a top 100 player, if not a top 10 player. This was just this recent um, expansion, which is the uh, something within, I can't f remember the name. Uh, wow, I can't, that's that's crazy. Anyways, um, The War Within. And so I before Mythic Raids come out, because I don't raid with typical, I don't raid at all, um, I'm usually in the top 10 in the West. On my realm, top two and as a druid i am usually the top two uh, in the the world for eye level uh, that's with just grinding it out because i can't play with other people because i don't want to raid at 5 p.m 6 p.m 7 p.m when my wife is here i'd rather spend time with her and it's just my schedule doesn't line with that i would do it super early in the morning anyways let's get back into it so we um so how did World of Warcraft get me hooked? So when I first started, I actually was a, um, played in vanilla classic 2004 and was a hardcore gamer then playing all the latest greatest games like Rainbow Six, Smash Brothers, uh, Super Nintendo 64. We had some dial up. I think that's when we first started having ISP um, with a nice, I think they call it tier one back in the day. And so I had, I was a top player in Druid tank. I had all the best gear from Blackwing layer and some uh, AQ. And I sold my account for $700 and I thought that was the greatest thing at like 16. Wow, was I rich. And so I took that money and bought another account and leveled a priest on the opposite faction and uh, played against my old guild with a, another guild with Drunken Alliance, good, uh, good times. And you know, I was like, you know what? I could do better. I could level up five characters and have f all five characters playing, leveling up, and then I can sell them all for just under $700. But I learned to uh, strip the gold from my characters because people that wanted the characters wanted the characters because of the achievements, the gear, that sort of thing. And people that wanted the gold wanted the gold for whatever, buying stuff, leveling up or whatever. And so that's when I learned that about maximizing my profits and really giving people what they want and uh, not that much more after that. And so I would use MMO Glider or WoW Glider or GliderBot. Uh, it had all sorts of different names and then I got into buddy bots and um, you know all the different bots. And so I had a five, I, at one point I think I had 10 accounts playing on one computer. I might've even had multiple computers at one point. Uh, this was a long time ago. And so, like I said, I would level them up to 60, strip their gold, uh, 70, 80, 90, 100, depending on what year it was and uh, at what point um, they did the, the the level squash, but then I would maximize my profits by separating the, the gold from the character. But then I moved in to the auction house flipping because uh, botting is against their terms of service. And so I started playing the auction house using TSM, uh, auctioneer, you know, all of the greatest apps or uh, add-ons within World of Warcraft. And so I would try and make as much gold and then I would sell that gold for real life money and you know, make that money. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I do this on the real auction house of the Ebays and the Amazons? And so that's what I did. I just started uh, getting, well, previously when I was a kid, I actually would play video games on like a PS2, PS3, PS4, and then I'd beat them and then sell the game and then get the money back and use that money to buy the next game. And so I was a big seller, in, not big, but I would sell video games on eBay many, many moons ago. I recently started the Amazon machine a few, three weeks ago and doing Am, uh, eBay again. And th these graphs look similar 
to these graphs. And so like here, you can see there's one bot, one sold, one bot, one sold, one bot, one sold. And it, it's pretty consistent about once a month, maybe two a month here of the, the volume of this particular item. And you can see that what it should go for, um, at what time of day it usually is the highest. And it's similar to this graph down here, which is Keepa, which is a software that tells you what it's on going for eBay, what it's used uh, prices, how much Amazon is selling it. So Amazon pretty much sells it all. This is why it's all filled with um, orange here. And then you can see how many sellers of this particular uh, book is going for. So at one point it had 30 sellers and now it's down to, it looks like 12. So the volume is going, uh, volume is staying the same and vol uh, people are leaving, but it doesn't look like there's much volume to be made because if we look at the numbers here, you can see less than 50 sales a month, only 77 price drops and the rank of uh, 30,000, which is pretty good, but Amazon has controlled it at $9. And so you would have to sell this for over $9 and you would only, and you would have to get the product for $1.97. So you, to make money, it's not worth it essentially. And so that's why a lot of people are leaving. I think the price probably has dropped and that's why people were leaving. You can see similar here. That's what it looks like here. And so what have I learned from video games? Well, market analysis and profit ma maximization. So when I was stripping the characters, these fresh 60s, 70s, 80s of their gold, uh, I was able to capitalize on the gold on the account and on the character and achievements themselves. Uh, from here, I also learned automation, buying back my time. So using a tool like Lighter, Auctioneer to do research for me, uh, how to really maximize uh, my time using automation. Negotiation and pricing strategies. So definitely uh, being able to negotiate pricing. I remember kind of having in private tells saying, hey, would you take it for this? Or uh, would you be able to buy this for this? or I'll craft you this item with this uh, crafting fee. You know, negotiations and price strategies are super important. That's how you make your money. You make your money on the buying of the product, not the actual sale. And people in real estate will tell you that. If you can talk down quite a few hundred thousand, couple thousand dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, you make your money back. Uh, and then obviously there's other things like uh, you can cash out refinance, pull the equity out, and then you have your money already. Risk management. So uh, when Blizzard cracked down on the bots and reported uh, pretty much took the uh, MMO Glider software company to court, they, uh, they cracked down hard on them and they had their warden uh Warden program that would crack down on people. And I've had my accounts banded. That's why I also switched to uh, the auction house. I talked about that right here. Um, trying to maneuver away from the, my botting career ended after Blizzard took down Glider. I also played, like I said, buddy bots and some other things. So um, it wasn't always down. Uh, Risk manager, I already talked about. Data analysis, like I said, auctioneer, trade skill master. Hone my skills to interpret data, similar to Rev, Seller, and Keepa. They help me uh, bring in lots of data and fine tune it to my needs so that I can see how I can make a profit and if it's profitable. Uh, from here, scaling a business. So using five characters to scale that uh, was pretty nice. And you can see here that, um, just over the last three weeks that I've been doing this, I've made eight grand uh, in gross profits. Uh, just the other day, yesterday, I think this was, was, it was actually $600. Uh, this is a little bit late cause I think I made some, uh, later that night. And then I also have been flipping records. So I made a 40% cash on cash return 
from selling records. I should have a about a thousand dollars worth of records that I am going to be selling, uh, and I got them for a hundred dollars. Uh, actually, which is this is kind of cool. I got this, which is an eight millimeter camera, and um, pretty sweet. I thought I figured it'd go for a pretty penny. And so I'm selling this. I already have a bid on it on the eBay machine. And uh, pretty much the bid is what I paid for it. So it will sell for much more than that. Probably uh, three or four times what I paid for it. And so uh, that's how I'll be making the money on um, flipping. So I'm very excited because I learned a lot from video games. And I'm able to take those skills and use them in the online space of eBay and Amazon and learned way more than any kind of business class because business classes just really don't teach you anything. Anyways, that's it. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.